Hi everyone, and welcome to part 39 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Season 2. So we are back at Kai and Kyle's apartment, and it is Friday. I just skipped a few days because I really wanted the twins to be here. And it is also their birthday today. Well, not actually today. They're actually, they actually have their birthday the next day in the game. But I thought it'd be good to throw a birthday party for them this evening. So we're shortly going to get on with that. And then Judith is here as well to help with planning the birthday party and throwing in all of that. And for some reason, she really does not look happy. I'm not sure if she's just tense or if she's hot-headed. I guess we'll see when he goes up to talk to her. What is he doing? Oh, giving her a hug. Oh, I love how they're just giving each other hugs. It's so cute. Um, let's, I don't know, let's do these about vampires. Just Okay, so she's just feeling tense. She's not feeling angry from her hot-headed trait. But I'm just going to get on with throwing the birthday party before it gets too late. Kai's also off at work, so he is unfortunately not going to be here for this. Yeah, hopefully she starts feeling better. But anywho, we're just going to go ahead and land a social event and throw this birthday party. I'm just really excited for these two to age up into teens because, you know, they've been kids the whole season of the let's play you know what like th we're on part 39 so for 30 something or 38 parts they've been children so yeah i'm just ready for them to age up all right so we're gonna go with the birthday party our birthday sims are gonna be jackson phoenix and then as far as the guests go um i mean i guess we'll have him as a guest uh kai's at work so we're not gonna i, I want him to get ahead in his job a little bit so i don't want to pull him out of work so we're gonna invite taz and amara uh, hopefully Willow's in here as well because I really want her to come. So let's just go through. Alright, we'll invite Olivia. And then we got Kate and Ryan and Bobby and Cammy and Meredith and Brian. And then we'll invite Lily and Judith. Oh man, I really need to work on the relationship. Alright, and then we'll invite... I guess we'll invite all of them. Yeah, so it looks like unfortunately Willow isn't in here. But I can just have the twins invite her over because, I mean, she's their closest friend. Oh, they can also invite over the, the other kids from their little Void Critter fan club. And I guess we'll invite a caterer to, or hire one just to make her life a little easier. All right, so I think that's good. Uh, we're just going to have it here at the apartment. All right, there it goes. Kind of worried for a minute we weren't, we weren't going to be able to pick the apartment. 19, 19 culprit brows. I think that's... I think that's where we are now. Hopefully we don't go through the loading screen. Okay, good. Because I've done that before where I've been... What is with Judith? You're not setting a good example for your kids. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before where I was in these apartments and I picked the wrong one. I went through the loading screen right after I set up the party and was not happy. But we've got our party started. Um, maybe we could... Oh, she does not look... Happy. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's have them invite their friends over. Um, so, actually, let's just go here, because I think he's friends with all of them, so we got Willow. Maybe not. Alright, so we'll invite Willow over. Um, who? Oh, some of them aged up. Okay, so it looks like Willow's the only one who's still a kid. Um, although, you know, the, we can still invite them over. I mean, they're going to be teens, so Patricia and Dario. Right, I kind of forgot what their names were. Alright, there's Taz. Good to see all right, so there he is. We'll just invite, we'll invite this guy too, because apparently he's friends with him as well. And then Dario's in there. All right, so now we've got some more of their friends over here. All right, so everyone, everything's all set up with that. It looks like Caden and Bobby and Spencer are coming in now. Oh, let's have them go talk to their grandpa. So we can, why is nothing popping up? All right, there we go. Let's talk about school. What? Okay, why is he tense? I don't know. We'll go give him a hug. Maybe that'll make him feel better. Uh, oh, ooh, I also, I installed the MC Command Center finally because I've been meaning to install that for a while. And I am really regretting not doing it sooner because it just makes things so much easier because you can, um, like, put in the career sheets and skill sheets and stuff like that from it instead of having to type everything. And also the relationship sheets too, I think. I haven't really messed with that. But it just, it, it just... It makes life easier. I don't know why I held off on installing for so long. Um, but I don't know. Let's let's give him a... Aww. Aww, look at him hugging his uncle. Let's tell a joke about elephants. What is with Bobby? I don't know why there's so much tenseness going on here. Alright, what is Kyle doing? Looks like Kyle... Kyle looks like he's bored. Oh, from the TV. I guess he's not... Hold on. What is... 
I just saw some mean interaction going on. I don't know if he's... Okay, he's with, um... Oh, you're talking to these two. Was it sure if him and Judith were arguing or something like that? Alright, so we'll... I don't know, we'll brighten his day. Looks like he's getting along here with Spencer. Aw, there's Willow. Let's have one of the twins come out here and talk to her. So we'll just have Phoenix, um, debate existence of vampires. There we go, that sounds fine. And we'll give her a hug. Ooh, so I'm also gonna age Willow up soon, because, you know, she's been a kid for a pretty long time, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna have them go over to Taz and Amar's apartment for a birthday party, or if I'm just gonna kind of age her up on my own and all of that. It might be fun to have a birthday party for her in the next part. Uh, we'll see. Because my plan was, so we're doing this whole birthday party thing tonight, so my plan was afterwards to have a bit of a... What? Come on, why aren't you... Make a damn cake, it's a birthday party, please! Uh, but anyway, my plan for the next day was to have Kyle take the twins on kind of a birthday camping trip, because that's something I've been really wanting to do, so I was thinking that they could all go on a camping trip together, and we can invite Cammy along too, so we kind of take care of her aspiration-related things without doing that stuff while we're with her household. So that was kind of my plan for the remaining half of this part, and I guess the first half of the next one, so... Maybe when they get back for their trip, we can have them go over to Taz and Amar's apartment for a birthday party for Willow, and then I can, I can give Willow a little makeover once she's aged up into a teen. I'm also going to be giving these two makeovers once they age up. I'm just going to stick it in the middle of this part. And, oh, look at that making... Oh, that's so cute. I just love the friendship. I love how close they are. Um, I wonder if... Any of brag about grades, why not? I mean, it's got an A+, plus, right? A, whatever. I mean, it, it's pretty much an A+. Plus. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, good friends, yay! You know what, let's get Jax over here to talk to her, too. I wonder if any of the other friends came over, um, like Dario and Patricia, did they? I don't think so, I don't see them. Hmm. Alrighty then, did I? I had him actually invite them over, right? I don't, I don't know. But at least we got Will over here. That was the most important. But I still want them to be in kind of, you know, like a friend group with the others. Oh, there's Cammy. Let's have Kyle go ahead and talk to her. They can talk about the outdoors, maybe. I don't know, kind of plan stuff for the trip that they're going to be going on. Hold on, can we talk about the best bait? There we go, let's, let's, uh, talk to- Oh, I love how she just went right outside to take a picture with Lucas. Oh, it's so nice. Alright, so we'll go talk about the best bait. Looks like a Judith is just out here chilling and reading a book. What is she reading? My Pisa Catapulca. Hmm, alright, guess she took one of the twins' books. Um, ooh, I also wanted to give their rooms a bit of a makeover because, you know, I mean, they're gonna age up into teens. They need a room to go along with that. Although, I mean, I guess if you took out the the little Voicure battle station, it would be kind of teen appropriate. But I still want to, you know, because um, I did this before Parenthood came out, so I still want to give it a makeover using some of that stuff. So my thought was that before the next part, I could do a, a video just making over the bedrooms in both the apartments. I'm just going to combine it into one video because it's going to be like three minute, two, three minute videos if I do it in one. But uh, what's going on? Alright, so he just got home. What the hell? What the? Wow. CJ. <laughs> oh, we're gonna complain to the landlord about that. But yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna have a video between now and the next part. Just making over both the bedrooms. So keep an eye out for that over the next week or so. Alright, you two are awfully close to each other. Where did... Oh, you know what? Our caterer... <laughs> Is something wrong with their kitchen? Because our caterer... Uh, okay, how much time do we have? Uh, okay. Okay, um, go go make a cake really quick, because our caterer is doing squat. Uh, go make a hamburger cake. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. Okay, so we've got an hour to age up both of these kids. Yeah, I completely lost track of what was going on. Alright, go- no, just stop talking. You really, really, really need to make a cake. Please, just go make a cake. Hopefully we're able to- ooh, what is she getting frustrated about? Yeah, hopefully we have enough time to age up both of them. Really, like, what was the- how much do we pay for you? Like, 250 simoleons? I want that back. I swear, caterers in this game are worthless. They do nothing, like, I- I just- 
The hunch the Munch family just moved into Havisham household. What? Which house was that? The Rowan family moved into Bargain Bend. Oh, is this from the MC Command Center? Oh wait, that's um Lily and Brian's old house, I'm pretty sure. Slipshod Mesquite. Is it just What is going on? Is it just generating new families or what is it? Okay then. I don't know if it's just letting you know what the game's doing. Like, this is stuff the game usually does on its own. It's just kind of letting you know. Jeez, that's... A Hold on, what was that? I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, okay, we've got 23 minutes. Really? Okay, so you're just... <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna feel like crap if I don't even... I'm sorry, this birthday party was a mess. Because I, I hired a caterer thinking the caterer was gonna make the cake. But instead, she's just chatting to Kyle. Well, he's making the cake. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh... Okay, how much time do we have? Nine minutes! Oh, I am really sorry. Okay, now you're doing karaoke. You're the caterer, not the entertainer! Oh, we've got three minutes left. Okay, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go! Go, 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 add birthday candles! Maybe we can do it. Nope. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Blow out candles. Maybe... Maybe everyone won't leave and they'll actually stay around while he blows out the candles. Nope. Aww. Hold on, maybe we can add a bunch of them to a group and then they'll stick around. I'm gonna do that really quick and see if it works. Alright, I added them to a group, had them go back to the apartment, so hopefully we'll have an audience for them aging up because... Yeah, I just really want there to be an audience, you know, like, I like the people twirling, the thingies, whatever they're called. Alright, so Lucas is aging up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's- or, did I just call him Lucas? No, 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 um, Jax is aging up. Sorry, I'm a bit flustered right now. Alright, so he's aging up. Everyone's cheering. Yay! There we go, just what I wanted. Alright, so now he's a teenager. That is exciting. He looks really upset about something. Uh, okay, so I've been thinking a little bit about what aspiration and trait I'm going to give him. So, I was thinking that for the aspiration, we could give him the nerd braid one. Because I haven't done that in a while. And then for the trait, I wanted to give him the bookworm trait because I was thinking that, you know, he could, um, because he has a self-assured trait already. So I was thinking that, you know, he could be someone who's confident, you know, looks like kind of a cool, but cool guy, but he also has this nerdy side to him and just loves reading and has a thirst for knowledge. So I, I want him to have a nerdy side, but not look like your stereotypical nerd. So that's what I'm going for with him. So hopefully you'll, you'll see that once I give him his makeover. All right, so now he's aged over, aged up. There we go. Okay, let's get the candles back on the cake. Okay, you know, let's have a, let's have him do it. All right, so we're gonna have him add the candles back on, and then we're going to have Phoenix. Did we get the? Uh, 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 okay, come on. Oh, are they? Okay, apparently there's invisible candles. Okay, never mind. We're good. All right. <laughs> he just hadn't added them yet. Okay, um, yeah, sorry, sorry this birthday party was a little bit of a mess. I just kind of lost track of time, and then our caterer did not do their job. They did not cater very well, or at all. I just, I, I just gotta stop hiring caters. I keep on trying, I keep on hoping they're actually gonna properly do their job, and they just don't. Like, the only time it's worked well is when I've hired others, like, specific sims as caterers. It just doesn't work well when you do it the other way. Um, so anyway, for Phoenix... I wanted him to be a bit more social than Jax. So I wanted to give him one of the popularity aspirations, but I was thinking friend of the world, but we've done friend of the world so much. Like I think I've used that three or four times in Let's Plays. So I was thinking that instead we could do leader of the pack because I've only done that once in a Let's Play. So we could give him this and then, yeah, he could just form some clubs. And then for his trade, I wanted to give him the dance ma dance machine trait, so maybe he could form his own dance crew or something like that to rival, um, what was it, the Spin Masters, or maybe he could join the Spin Masters and then branch off into his own group or something like that. Um, so yeah, he's he's a little bit of a party animal, so him and Jax are different in that while Jax maybe leans more towards staying at home and curling up with a book, Phoenix wants to go out and party a bit more. So yeah, I am excited for that, so let's get a... Let's get a look at them. Okay, we're gonna have to change that hair. But I, I like how Phoenix looks so much like his father. Like, he looks almost identical to his father. And then 
Jax, where is Jax? Bobby has said... Oh! Has this always been a thing? Caden has said Phoenix a gift. Meredith sent Phoenix... Congratulations on starting your... What? I've never... Is that an MC Command Center thing? I don't know. I, I just installed this mod. Like, this This is the first video I've made since I installed it. So maybe that does have to do with it. Uh, but yeah. So while Phoenix looks a lot like... His father, Jax, looks so much like his mother. So yeah, definitely... Definitely quite different in appearance. I like it, though. Alright, uh, let's... So I think we can just go to the mailbox... Oh, the mail soon. Okay, so I guess they're not there yet. So we just have to check the mail. That's really interesting. I don't know. Maybe that was added in a patch. I'm not really sure, but... Yeah, it's, um... It's two in the morning. So... I think I'm gonna wrap up this whole... Gathering soon. So yeah, I'm gonna get everyone out of here and give the twins a makeover and then I'll be back the next day. Alright, so it's the next morning and everyone is up and ready to go on their trip. Cammy's also over here as well. And uh, as you probably gathered while I was doing the makeover, I went for more of a skater type style for Jax. And then for Phoenix, I went with more of a dancer style to go with his dance machine trait. Although this outfit isn't really that dancer-like, but the other two definitely are. Um, so anyway, I am just going to go ahead and start this trip so we'll get them on out there so right take a vacation so we're just gonna pick everyone in the household and i'm looking forward to this yeah i figured i figured it'd be better to just kind of take care of cammy's um gathering items related things while we're on this trip uh just because i don't know, i didn't really want to send her household out on another trip all right so granite falls is their only choice i'm really hoping that eventually we get other worlds that we can go to but yeah, for these guys, I think we're just going to rough it and go to the campground, run some tents. So I definitely see Kyle being more into just roughing it and sleeping in tents. All right, so we have arrived. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this a one-night vacation. Because um, I don't want to take up the whole rest of the time or with these guys with this. Uh, what is this? Homesick. Aw, where do you just got here? You already want to go home? Jesus. He's also feeling a little gloomy, so... Yeah, I was actually thinking about not sending Kyle... Oh, okay. Hmm. That was a good hug. Um, yeah, I was thinking about not sending Kai long because I didn't really see this maybe being his thing as much, but yeah, I guess I was right about this because he, he doesn't seem to be having a good time. 
right off the bat. Looks like Jax is over here being a goody two shoes and doing his homework. Dealing with some mosquitoes. That's exciting. I feel like like Kai Kyle and um Kyle and Phoenix look almost like twins. Like they just look so alike. But anyway, we've got to get some tents for these guys to sleep in. So let's just go hold on right over here to the ranger station to go take care of that. So buy some supplies. I guess we'll just have Jax do that since everyone else is over here enjoying. I am ca Oh, meh. Nah. Don't really care about that. Uh, yeah, so we'll just have him go get that while everyone else is playing horseshoes together. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Oh, okay. I guess we'll find out when we're done with this. Um, so, what do we want to get? We could just get... Nah, I think we'll get tents. Um, how many tents? I forget, how many sims does this let Surely They don't even have enough money for that. Do they have enough money for tents for everyone? Ooh, that might be a bit of a problem. How much are air mushes? Are those any cheaper? Eh. So, we can only afford... We can't even afford two of these. Darn. Yikes, I did not think this through. Okay, so we have enough money for a tent? Hold on, what was the other thing? Okay, so we picked that. I don't know, I'm just gonna get one. Hey, Phoenix, it's Willow. Wait, what? Oh, did the game eat her up? Oh, okay, so I guess we're not gonna be throwing a birthday party for her in the next part, but uh, ooh, I'm definitely gonna have to give her a makeover. That is not a good look for her. Yeah, so I guess uh, it was her time to age up. Which, yeah, makes sense because I think I... Yeah, they were pretty much exact eight, same age. So let me see. Yeah, the, oh, oh, yeah. She needs a bit of a makeover. That's just, that's just a mess of a look. But I'm gonna fix that for the next part. So don't worry about that. All right. So what I want to do is see. I don't think we have enough stuff in their inventory to sell. To, I mean, maybe she has some stuff. What is this? Thirty simoleons. It might get us another tent. Yeah, I don't know. This is worth a hundred and I don't know. We could just. Because I don't want them to sleep on the ground. I want them to have an actual tent. Yeah, I did not think about that. We've got a we've got a cool already, though, so we don't have to worry about that. So we can just stick that out somewhere here. So that's handy. That's at least something we already have. Uh... Alright, so I sold enough stuff that I should be able to get another tent and just that. Actually, you know, let's have Jax get it since he's right over here, but yeah, we should be able to get another tent and one of those single air mattresses, so maybe I could just have Cammy sleep on the air mattress under the stars, because I could see that being something that she would be into. Yeah, so unfortunately, I, I forgot about the cost of getting a tent and that kind of a thing. Um, so we'll just get another one of these, and hopefully we have enough for this. Oh, okay, we do. Alright, we're good. And then I can just sell the stuff afterwards, and then we have 85 simoleons left. Okay. Alright, so let's set up our campsite, campsite over here. So I was get, I was thinking that... Okay, so go over here. Yeah, so we can just have the twins share a tent, and then Kyle and Kai can share a tent, and then Cammy can just sleep on the air mattress right out under the stars. So I think that'd be fine. Alright, there we go. We got that. And then Cammy can just... Can we just drag... Okay, there we go. Cammy can just be here. I mean, I feel like, like, if the weather's nice, I feel like it could be really nice to just sleep out under the stars. Um, what is this? I texted someone, but they didn't text back, and it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, he's asking this to Kyle. Yeah, maybe they missed the first one. No, wait for them to respond. Hmm. I think he would say no, wait for them to respond. So let's see, manners increase, emotional control decreases. All right. Um, so anyway, let's have him chat with them for a little bit. Maybe join the horseshoes. What is Cammy up to? Going to the bathroom. All right, that's cool. Oh, let's see where she is with her aspirations. So next she has to cook two plates of beetles over a campfire. Ugh, okay, so that means we have to find some beetles. Oh, I remember this being such a pain back when my... I was doing the outdoor retreat. Yeah, that's what it was. Outdoor retreat, let's play. I just remember it took me taking me so long... To find the beetles, I think you just kind of see them. Uh, I forget if you can find them around here or if you have to go to the hermit area. I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't know, but we can look around a little bit for that. What is she doing? Ugh, I feel like it'd be gross to eat beetles. I don't know. That just... 
I don't know. That just doesn't, it doesn't seem like something that would taste very good to me. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm a little rusty on the whole outdoor retreat thing, like where the spawners are. But I think we might have to go to the whole hermit area to get that. So maybe we can have them go there or the, ooh, there's something. Okay, never mind. It's not there anymore. Yeah, I just looked around a bit more on my own and why are you, what are you doing? You've just got perfectly good hamburgers right there. You know what, let's, um, I guess we can't really call everyone to the mill. That might be too far away, but, um, if everyone's a bit hungry, maybe we can have them just come over here and grab some burgers. Why not? We'll just have Nicole come over here and eat. Yeah, I looked around a little bit more for some beetles and I didn't find anything, so... That might- that just might be something I do on my own, because, I don't know, I don't really want to spend time in this Let's Play just looking for beetles. So maybe I'll just, like, if I have one of those times where I'm just skipping through a few days on my own, I might just send her back here and then find that on my own. Uh, yeah, I forgot- I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but... I did play through with her house a little on my own for a few days, so I took care of a bunch of stuff with her aspiration, because I think she's... Yeah, she's completed one of the milestones. So... I took care of these things, because that was something I could do in her apartment. But glad to see everyone coming over here and getting some- What are you, what are you doing? She's just like cranking out food. Like, we've got some hot dogs, we've got... <laughs> we've got some franks and beans, we came and fit it all on this table. She's just making a feast. What? Okay, I'm gonna stop you. What is with Cammy? Oh, I hope this isn't some kind of weird glitch. Okay, good. Good. She stopped cooking. Yeah, that was weird. She just kept cooking stuff. All right, let's uh, let's grab a serving of that. I didn't make her vegetarian, right? Yeah, yeah, she's not vegetarian. All right, so what was those two food tofu dogs? Yeah, tofu dogs. Oh, unfortunately. All right, well, she's gonna stand here and talk to them. But yeah, they can all just stand around here and chat and have a nice meal. And then uh, maybe later... We can have them just sit around the campfire. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to end this part around when they go to bed. And then I'll just play. Although they're going to leave at like 11 in the morning. So there's not really going to be a whole lot of time after that. Ooh, bee. Ooh, no, no, no. Not ooh, bees. Bees suck. But we'll get those. I mean, they're not beetles, but close enough. I'd imagine bees wouldn't be very good if you cook them. Ugh, I don't like bees. I remember in elementary school when... Oh, oh, ah, wait, 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 no, 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 I didn't mean for you to, I meant for her to do it. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, let her get those bees. Yeah, but I remember in elementary school when you would line up after recess and stuff like that to go back to class. If a bee flew near me, I would freak out and, like, run out of the line. I remember pissing off the teachers because they'd be trying to count all the students. And then I would see a bee and I would scream and I would just run out of the line somewhere else in the playground. And I was the only kid who did it. It was kind of embarrassing. Like, everyone else, all the other kids were just chill. Like, they didn't freak out. And then there was me just freaking out so bad that I left the line and was running around the playground. Oh, so that was great. But then I got stung by a bee. And then it wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. So then now I'm a little less afraid of bees. I don't know. Yeah, get, actually getting stung by one kind of kind of lessened my fear a little bit. Uh, but then again, fortunately, I'm not allergic to them. Uh, so anyway, what are we doing? We can just sit around this fire. Why not? Let's chat a little bit. Hold on. So again, I don't know, tell a knock-knock joke. Talk about the best bait. Yeah, I feel like these two really bond over their love of the outdoors. So let's promote a cause. I think we probably have to do that for a career anyway. Oh, look at that. We got some musical accompaniment from Kai. Uh, what is this? Hold on. Joggerhead, I fancy some secure. No. <laughs> that name, that name makes me chuckle a little bit for some reason. Okay, what is? All right, let's. Uh, you don't need to do extra work, extra credit work. Let's rave about growing up to him. I don't know. Talk about how cool being a teen is. Let's see, because I know there's all those uh, boast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I know there's all those um new parent interactions that teens could do. Obsessed about favorite band. Tease about bravery. Flick nose. Ooh, let's do that. Kyle's listening to Cammy's passion remarks. All right, awesome. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, obsessing about his favorite band. All right, and then now he's feeling a little flirty. Oh, if only Judith was here. 
Oh, see, so he's cool with it. Maybe we could have him do one of the mischief interactions and mess with him a little bit. I love all. Oh, there's so many new. Um, <laughs> what if we just had him spread rumors about Woohoo? And then Kai seems to amused, amused by whatever it is that they're saying. Alright, what do I do? All right, chicken to, chicken to believing in giant chickens. Alright, let's do that. Um, wait, no, not mean. Um, what other, what other mischievous things can we do? Tell an, tease about grades. You know what, I could actually see, um, Phoenix doing that to him a little bit more, because I know a while back some of you brought up that maybe... Jax could be a little bit more into getting good- Oh, that just took their empathy down a little bit. But yeah, some of you were saying that, um... Jax could be a little bit more into getting good grades than Phoenix as they, they get older. Although it'd be kind of hypocritical for him to tease him out his grades, because he has really good grades too. I wonder if there's anything he could discipline them about. I'm not sure if he could even discipline yet. Oh, we can. Discipline recent behavior. What can we do? Ask not to be mean. Um, I don't know. He's he's a little mean himself, so I feel like he would find it kind of amusing and wouldn't really get, the, get after them for it. Ooh, maybe we can have someone tell a ghost story now that's getting a little darker. Yeah, let's have Kyle do that. Tell, okay, right, right, right. This was it. Tell a ghost story about a goblin. Yeah. Um, so we'll just go ahead and tell it to everyone in their household. <laughs> And we're like, okay, good, she's waking up, so she can listen to it. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've successfully had a sim tell a ghost story. Alright, so we're telling a story about someone with a hook- Oh, wait, no, we can't see that. Someone with a hook for an arm. And spiders. Sounds spooky. And someone riding in on a horse. So I guess someone with a hook hand rode in on a horse, maybe with spiders crawling over them, and they were a ghost? Oh, I just re how close is he to aging up? So he's still got, oh wow, he's still got a lot for ages up. But then again, I mean, him and Judith did have them pretty young. I feel like, uh, I'm probably gonna have to age up Kai soon, actually, because, um, yeah, he should be a good bit earlier, older than Kyle. Yeah, the ages got kind of messed up with how I age him up before starting the season. Um, but, I don't know, maybe we can age Kai up the next time we're with these two. But I think I'm going to wrap this part up soon and have them go off to bed because I want them to get a pretty early start for the, to the day next the next day so that we can do a little bit more. So yeah, I'm going to end the part here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.